Hey, what's up guys? Welcome in this second video um, for the complete MB tutorials uh, where I will explain you, um, so I explained you in the previous video what is MB and how it works um, at a very, uh, very low uh, basis, I would say, um, level. And uh, right now, in this video, I want to cover a specific topic that is the installation. To install, to install MB and uh, for the purpose of this, um, this video, I will show you how to install MB on Windows computer, okay? On the, on the Windows 10 uh, operating, operating system. Because basically, uh, I just want to show you uh, all the panel of installation system uh, NB can run on. Uh, it's like amazing. If you if you find a specific system where NB is not able to run, uh, just let me know in in the comments, and I'm pretty sure it will help, like the NB development team uh, to do another package of software or software and to develop something for this specific platform. But honestly, you will find everything you need here. And if you don't have like the, the, the specific devices to run on, you just, you can just buy it, uh, because you have, uh, you can have uh, very cheap, uh, clients, for example, that you can buy. Uh, for 40 or 50 bucks, uh, like the Roku, the Roku uh, client device or uh, the Fire TV or something else. Today, it's very easy to have something very, very good for a low price to be able to play all your content, media content, uh, and stream them, starting streaming them right away. So if you go, if you go on the, on the website right there, um, the website is mb.media. So you just go with your favorite browser on this uh, specific uh, website here. You will fall here, uh, take your media anywhere with MB, your personal media on any device. So it's what I explained in the previous video, make your media easy, how it works, install the server, download the app, and enjoy your personal media, uh, stop struggling, start enjoying. So you have different features that we can cover later, but basically you understand, um, you understand the concept, the main concept. So you go on download here, and you fall on this, on this page uh, section where you can download the different servers and clients. For the MB servers, I can, show you that you have a lot a lot of them i think uh, all platforms are covered uh, you have the windows the linux the linux sorry the nas uh, if you want to install on on a nas uh, where you have some disk for storage on a mac um, on a docker for this one uh, i will do a specific video um, and i will show you how to install mb server inside a container running on in in the docker environment not kubernetes uh, but just with docker compose etc and show you how to install it on the centos i will i will just take a centos 7 because i am used to uh, this linux distribution but you can use whatever you want like ubuntu or fedora or whatever you want and um so i will show you how to install inside the docker with the Docker image is super simple because everything is set up for you. And um, so I will do another video for that. And also I will show you how to update your Docker, uh, update your Docker very easily. So uh, you will be able to do that uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Uh, on FreeBSD uh, and the Shield. Um, so you can also install like, uh, an MB server on your shield. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Um, on the other side, you have the TV apps. So we're entering like, like the, the section for the def different clients. Okay. 
So as I said in the previous video, you have the Android TV, the MB4, so the Amazon Fire TV, also the Shield. The Shield has a client for that because the Shield is pretty, pretty much running uh, like an Android, like an Android system, you know, adapted by Nvidia, but it's like an Android. So you have you have all the the access like other other Android Android devices, kind of the same system. Uh, the MB for the Apple TV. Um, as I said before, uh, you have all the iOS covered. So you have for the TV apps, you have uh, a client for the Apple TV. You have a client for the Chromecast also. So you will be able, uh, let's say you have uh, the device open on your iOS, like iPhone or iPad, or open on an Android phone, for instance, um, no matter what phone it is, but just the app. You will be able to cast on your Chromecast that is connected to your uh, local Wi-Fi and local router. It's uh, pretty amazing because you can you can do whatever you want. You can stop the playback. You can uh, jump uh, in in the playback position. You can do whatever you want from uh, directly from your iPhone and the Chromecast because it's working like that for for everything. The Chromecast is able to stream directly from your server, so you don't. You don't need to to stream like um, it, it's not it's not a, a direct stream uh, of your screen from your phone. The Chromecast is connecting directly to the server, so it's pretty amazing. The Roku, yes, the Roku is uh, pretty useful and is as I said before, it's it's cheap with the with the Amazon Fire TV. It's something that you can buy. It's uh, it's really cheap and it's working very well. Uh, the MB Theater, uh, I will do a specific video for that to uh, to show you all the features you have. The HMA5, because MB is uh, in fact running also in a HTML HTML5, so you can access directly to the MB theater environment through the tv.mb.media. If you go there, you have access to MB and with this MB, you can connect um, to basically to anything. So it's like the app that is loading like internally. Oh, uh, we are the first, <laughs> it's funny because we are, we are the 31st of October and we have an automatic tem, tem um, here applied for the Halloween, so it's pretty funny. But normally, normally, like the interface is not is not like that. It's it's uh, it's a little bit darker. But today, for uh, <laughs> we say for the monster celebration, it's like more orange. It's like more pumpkin atmosphere, you know. So it it changed uh, automatically the 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 the, the, the interface. Uh, to match the day so it's very funny okay so i'm going back here uh, you have also the lg so you have you have an app for the lg you have an mb app for the samsung smart tv uh you can you can use mb on the playstation 4 xbox one uh windows media center also it's working it's um i would say it's still working but we are talking about old technologies because um, starting at Windows 8, it was the the the, the Windows Media Center was uh, was just removed. Okay, um, so I I wouldn't give you uh, the advice to go on this specific uh, this specific uh, software because anyway, it's not it's not supported by Microsoft and uh, uh, we won't have new releases. So I would say if you still have the Windows 7 installed on your computer, let's go, uh, let's do it. But I won't, I won't say it's a good idea. Uh, the Xbox 3, 360 also, even if it's a, an old platform, I would say, uh, it's still working, it's just supported. Uh, you have an add-on also to be able to access your MB server, server directly, directly inside, from inside Kodi. And you have also the PlayStation 3 support. Uh, okay. Um, and for the mobile apps, as I said, you have the HTML5, so you can access 
like uh, the tv.mb.media through Okay, from, sorry, from, uh, I would say Safari or Google Chrome on Android. You have an MB app for Android. You have an MB app for, uh, it's written iOS, but basically iPhone and iPad. Um, you still have an MB, um, you have an MB app also for Windows and you still have an MB, uh, Windows phone app, even if I'm not sure it's used a lot, but it's still supported. So now I will download the Windows server for, uh, so the MB server for Windows. Um, I will go to the beta channel. Um, my advice, if it's the first time you're using MB, is to download the MB server here because it's like the stable version, but I am going here uh, directly to the beta channel. Uh, but be careful because the beta channel is like a kind of development branch. Uh, so you can have uh, very bad surprises when you use um, your MB server. And as you can see, this, the version is the 4.3.0.17. Uh, it's like the, the, the last version on this uh, 31st of October, uh, on this monster, uh, monster celebration day, <laughs> I will say. Um, so it won't be very long. Uh, it will be, yeah, we are, we are at the end of the, of the video. It won't be long. Uh, I will just show you like the, the, the wizard, like after the installation of MB server. Um, so once MB server is installed, it's starting. As you can see, my computer is blinking. It's starting and it will open automatically through uh, the default browser uh the wizard page if we are waiting a little bit because the server is starting okay i didn't mention that you have also the portable installation if it's like that if you want to use as a portable version okay here we go so the wizard is opening through your uh, favorite browser, uh, or I would say the default browser on your computer. You can change the preferred display language. I would just say no, because it will just give give you the, the, the language of your system. So I click next. You can click here um, my, uh, I would say my, um, my user, my admin user, okay? Because, yeah. Or I would say uh, Pendeli, because I am Pendeli. So create your first user. You create your first user, you define the password. So we'll say 1234, 1234. Don't, this, don't do this at home because 1234 is a very bad idea. Um, the optional here, you can link, you can go on um, just to show you, you can go here um, on MB and you can create uh, an account. Okay, so sign in. Okay, I think it's next. Username. Okay, you can go here and you have new users here and you go to sign up and you create, you can create a user on MB directly. And this user is considered as, uh, sorry, I'm going to my wizard here, is considered as a, an MB Connect account automatically. So after that, you just put your username or, or email address and MB will resolve all the stuff like uh, doing that translation and finding your server easily, etc. keeping alive all the connections to be able to connect to your server, etc. Um, I will go the hard way here. I will show you how to how to um, configure a network in a future video, uh, the hardest way. Uh, but basically, you can use that. And um, if you are if you are having if you are going to have a lot of invite invites, uh, sending a lot of invites to people to connect to your server, maybe it's a good idea to ask them to. Uh, go and create um, MB Connect account because it will be easier for them to configure all their 
all their different clients. Okay, so I click on next. Um, I want at this step you can you can add a media library, but I will do another video to explain you all the stuff you can put there. Um, so I won't do that here, and uh, I will click click on next. Here is like the preferred meta metadata language. Uh, if you are like an American or if you are like uh, an English uh, speaking guy, uh, you won't have to touch anything excepting here if you want to put Canada, if you want to put England, uh, United United Kingdom, um, or if you want to, to, to put Irish, Australian or something like that, because it will get uh, more specific information from your country. And uh, if you are from the United States, it's like by default, but <clears throat> sometimes if you, are, if you are Chinese and you want to get the content in Chinese, French, uh, I don't know, Croatian or uh, Japanese, whatever, you can change the language here and you can put the country you want to get the information from, uh, specifically from. Um, configure the remote access, allow remote connection to the MB server. It's like, do you want remote connections connections to be um, to be allowed on your server or not? Uh, sometimes people just want to have uh, like a server only for the inside, so giving access to their kids or their wife or whatever. But it's your choice. Um, if you check uncheck this, you won't be able to connect from outside. You won't be able to give access to anyone to your server. And uh, I don't know if you are if you are taking a coffee in a Starbucks, you won't be able to connect to um, to your server remotely to watch uh, I don't know like the the last TV show or whatever. So it's it's your choice and depending on what you want to do with the server. Um, and enable automatic port mapping. I will just let this one check because so it's it's more a network related stuff. So next. You accept the terms of service. So I will let you read all the privacy policy, terms of use, etc. And we are done. We are done. It's the end of this video, basically. Um, so that's all we need for now. MB has begun collecting information about your major libraries. <laughs> no, because we didn't define any libraries, but yeah. We trust you. Uh, check out some of our apps. It's, it's just a default text, okay? I am, I'm just kidding. It's, it's a very bad joke. Uh, check out some of our apps and then click finish to view uh, the server dashboard. And enjoy it. Uh, so it's it's uh, proposing here uh, different clients already that you can download. Uh, so I will click on finish uh, and uh, in the next video, I will show you um, the, the the first. I will show you the first contact with the dashboard and how to be uh, to become used of using it. Okay, because it could be a little bit disturbing uh, at the first glance, but it's uh, it's um, very well made and it's just a matter of uh, of using it and appropriating it. Okay, so. Uh, in the next video, I will show you um, the dashboard and the first settings. And uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of stuff coming, coming and going on. And uh, I want you to be able to access all this stuff and to, to see my, uh, my different creations. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.